almost there, baby. With our nation's capital in the distance, the Be A Hero Bike Tour finds their second wind as they end their 1,000-mile bike ride from Palm Beach to Washington, D.C. A month ago, this group left South Florida. And after spending 31 days on the road, traveling through five states, and speaking to 30 different organizations about the importance of blood donation, they arrive in our nation's capital. Hey guys, welcome back, finally. This is the most amazing <laughs> trip ever. I just feel like I accomplished it, like I, like, I've actually accomplished something and I got it out of the way, like, not that I'm happy I'm done with it, that I actually finished it through, didn't stop or anything. It's hugs all around as the group arrives at the U.S. Health and Human Services building in Washington, D.C. To see them enthusiastically enter our nation's capitals. We're crossing the Potomac. The enthusiasm was palpable out there. And these kids did such a great job. They were leading the pack. Us old guys were behind them. And they were approaching our nation's capital with an enthusiasm and with the love of this nation that we felt in the rest of the group. Deputy Surgeon General Boris Lushnik and several public health officers joined the crew on their last leg of the trip. Well done. But it was all business when they got into the city. U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Regina Benjamin presented the Be a Hero Bike Tour group with several certificates of appreciation and joined the crew for a brainstorming session about how to encourage more Americans to donate blood. Every minute, less than every minute, someone needs blood. And so it's a product that can save a life and it's a, such a simple way to save a life and a simple way to give that all we need to just donate a pint of our blood every so often and think of the number of people we could save and lives we could improve by, by doing that. And it's a simple way to just make a difference. After spending a month on a bicycle creating awareness about the need for blood donors, the group appropriately ended their 1,000 mile journey with a blood drive at the Department of Health and Human Services right here in Washington, D.C. And cyclist JJ is donating blood for the very first time. When my oh, man, mother right was here. having giving birth to my older sister, she needed blood. So I took the time out and I told myself, why won't I donate blood so I can help another mother that's giving birth that needs blood so her child can survive. All of these children and even Van Duzer himself have been impacted by blood donors. My mom took two pints and platelets the other night, so she's back in the hospital. So it's um it's it's a constant, you know, it's it's and that's what it's about. They've definitely done a lot of education and what we hope is that the next generation of blood donors, uh, who are the kids that he's been reaching out to, are going to understand through his education, through his talk, through his outreach, what it means to be a blood donor. And when they're old enough and eligible, they'll become an actual blood donor and a lifelong blood donor. The road to Washington wasn't always an easy one. The group battled the scorching Florida sun. It was really hot. It was like blazing hot out there. <laughs> trudge their way up through the Georgia hills. There's hill after hill after hill after hill. And they were even down a driver for about a week when Dan Hafner was hospitalized for a heart condition. I feel wonderful. I feel great. I mean, I just get my energy from this group. Another devastating blow came seven days into the journey when the group learned Gibbs, the young cancer patient and blood recipient who sparked Van Duzer's passion for blood donation, passed away at the age of six. That's for the little man. We Stairs. all have one. The group wears bracelets bearing Gibbs's name as a reminder to keep on pedaling. In 31 days, you think, wow, it's a month. Let me tell you something. In a month, we changed some lives and, and made a world of difference. And in many ways, the lives they changed have been their own. This group is like a family. JJ, JJ. Over the past month, they learned to hula hoop. Got silly stringed. I was like, oh my God, what did I do? What do I do? And they've had their share of cheers. Yeah! You do better. Come on. Yeah! And now come the tears. <laughs> you gonna make How me bad cry. you miss me? Tell me. Come on. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, I'm gonna cry. Oh, wait a minute. You happy little. <laughs>
it's it's great but it's sad because we've spent so much time together we're like a family and then we're just going to separate and it's that part of it's sad it's been amazing all the people i've met everybody's made an impact on our life six weeks ago it's hard to imagine. i didn't even know these kids and they'll be a part of my life you know from here on in i mean a special place in my heart and uh, i can't thank them for the job that they did Though they know that this is the last time they'll walk out of this RV as the Via Hero right, Bike right. Tour crew, they'll remain in each other's well, hearts, you know, hearts of blood donors forever, because they've made a difference in someone's life. I'm Nancy Gay from Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.